So I'm driving right now. But I want to talk to Slotham real quick, yet again, because he keeps on saying this thing like I have no microphone skills. Now, are you trying to tell me this? Or are you looking in the mirror trying to tell yourself this while you're punching yourself? He doesn't have any microphone skills. He doesn't have any microphone skills. Like, dude, talking is easy. I used to get paid to talk, remember? Anyway, bingo hall wrestle. I never wrestled in the bingo hall a day in my life. All right. But I know people who did. And now they're legends. Like Rey Mysterio Jr., Dean Malenko, Chris Jericho, Taz, Sabu, Rob Van Dam, the Steiner Brothers. The list goes on and on and on and on. So, working at a bingo hall does not make you any less of a wrestler. All right? I mean, gosh, if anything... Should say like a backyard wrestling. That that's the worst. That's the outlaw mud show wrestling right there. Shit, I already said I wrestled in high school gyms. I wrestled wrestled in armories. I even wrestled at flea markets. Yes, flea markets, people. I even wrestled outside a boys and girls club. Did a depth defying feat. Wrestled at a college before. All this shit. And uh, to comment on the dumb CPE talking about I'm a fake wrestler. That's a fucking oxymoron in itself. Like, shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. The the whole wrestling thing is scripted. I I don't know if you thought it was real or not with your dirty fingernail having ass. But it's scripted. Okay. Anyway. So, let's talk about you, Slotham. You're the coward that ran away from the guy that took your buddy's girl. You're the coward that keeps me away from your chat because you know why. No, it's not because I am that. But we'll get into that. It's because my word holds weight. Yes, my word holds weight. You don't want anybody like that idiot, Rev Rod, who can be swayed so easily. Or Johnny Appleseed who has never touched a girl in his life, much like you. You know, any of the people that are just dorks by nature, you know, you don't want them to hear this. You don't want them to hear this. Because all my, everything I say holds weight. You said I had a daughter. I do not have a daughter. You said I was a jobber, even though you didn't know what the word jobber meant. If I have the belt, I'm not a jobber. Moron, you you claim to be smart, but you failed to look up that terminology. You don't know what a jobber is, slot them. Slap yourself. Let's see what else. Oh, yeah. My baby mama left me for another woman, even though I have the voicemail of her wanting to bang me. Good job, guy. Yeah. You're just about as big of a liar as Carl is. I don't know. And then, oh, remember when you, um, (laughs) you put up that screenshot thinking, y'all got me. Who found that? Was it Three Frame? Three Frame hasn't even seen the, his feet in the longest because he's so fat. From what I hear anyway. And I just got to go by word of mouth on that. Three Frame, you need to lose weight. Okay, you need to get in shape like a Greek god, such as myself. My diet consists of Mountain Dew and whatever I want to drink. I mean, eat whatever, Ugh. and just work out continuously. So yes, a lot of them. You banned old Dan because you know my word holds weight. Stop trying to kid yourself, guy. Just accept that L. Accept that L. What you gonna do now? You procreate with a baby mama who looks like a 400 pound Estella. Yeah, I did that. You're right. Did that. You caught me, guy. You ran away. Talk about that, too. (laughs) <laughs> also talk about the fact that you used to kiss Darius's ass every single day 
And as soon as Darius told you to clean up your comment section, that's when you went AWOL because no one tells you what to do. I fear for your parents because if they tell you to clean up your room, oh my gosh, you must throw the biggest hissy fit, biggest conniption fit known to man in Canada. You probably got your parents hostage. They probably did try to kick you out. Oh my gosh. Now that I think about it, oh my gosh. That's, that's so oh boy. We need to do a wellness check. Slot them. You need to learn to uh, treat your parents with respect. Okay? They brought you in this world. You go clean your room now. Anyway, this is Dan. And my word holds weight. Much like three friends.